Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Welcome to my shave of the day for Sunday, November 2nd, 2014. <clears throat> it's your friendly neighborhood appliance repairman, Matt Weaver, coming to you live and in Technicolor from my shave den with my shave of the day today. Um, you know what? Something just doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shazam! That's better. Uh, I feel much better. Got my hair done. I've transformed into Captain Marvel. I've got my real shave ridge today, which is Jim Beam Black Label. Uh, implements of destruction today are the soap. Uh, this says LA Shaving Soap Company Woodsy Lavender, but is actually tobacco. That was piffed to me by, or sent, a sample sent to me by um, Pete Giovanni. Uh, and I put it into this used LA Shaving Soap Company tub that I bought off Maggard Razors. Um, the since since I don't have any um, tobacco flavored <laughs> tobacco scented aftershave to pair it with, uh, I am going to pair it with uh, something that's really strong. Old Spice Fresh Lime. Uh, the razor today. I'm really excited to try this out. I bought this at an antique store uh, last week for $15. It is a pre-war fat handle Gillette Tech that I've loaded with a brand new feather blade. <clears throat> and I, I stropped the blade uh, on an old pair of jeans too to kind of you know uh, feather blades can be a little rough on the first shave a tip I picked up from uh, Mr. Douglas Smythe um, brush as usual is going to be the 49er brush since they are playing right now hopefully this brings them good luck against the St. Louis Lambs um, let's load the brush uh, I had the sample blooming while I was in the shower. Um, shower today, uh, obviously pre today was a hot shower like always. Um, Dove Med Plus Care Hydrate Face Wash. Uh, and let's see, the music I listened to in the shower was Rush Chronicles on Spotify. They ought to pay me to do say that. I ought to quit saying it until they pay me. Um, got a pretty good load on the brush here. Looks pretty good. So, I'm going to wet my face and we'll get right to it. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Nice Halloween, safe Halloween. I didn't do anything, I worked on Halloween. All right, let's get to it. I really, really like the scent of tobacco, but I haven't gotten around to getting a full tub or the aftershave, the matching aftershave. It's a very, very light scent. You know, so many of the soaps are strong scented, which I like, but a light scented soap like this every now and then is really nice too. And if the aftershave smells like this, only stronger, it's right up my alley. All right, a few paint strokes. Oh, by the way, that intro to my video was inspired by Khan, uh, our Australian buddy Khan. So, hope you like it, mate. 
Uh, he dubbed me Captain Marvel on the Shave the Man shave group. So I guess that's who I am. Oh, before I get too far into it, I've got to show you my shave shirt that was inspired by Khan 2 dubbing me Captain Marvel. And it is, if you can see it, a Captain Marvel uh, t-shirt done Norman Rockwell style that I bought off of a website called Redbubble that does um, uh, independent artists. Uh, you can buy t-shirts and stuff from them. But yeah, it is a Captain Marvel Norman Rockwell t-shirt. So here we go. First pass, as always, with the grain. So far so good with this razor that's older than my dad. And I gotta give a shout out to Thomas Burgess who uh, dated this thing for me and told me what it was. I really don't know, know a whole lot about the vintage razors so I put a picture of it and Thomas told me exactly what it was. first impressions are and exactly like what I've seen on online is the vintage Gillettes are very mild razors which is why I paired it with the uh, feather blade As any who have watched my videos uh, previously know, I prefer to pair mild razors with aggressive blades and vice versa. More mild middle of the road blades with aggressive razors. Uh, it works for me. Let's lather up for the second pass here. Wasn't really sure what to pair with this tobacco soap because obviously I don't have any tobacco aftershave, but it kind of to me has a bit of a fruity scent. But I figured it was mild enough that the a uh, really strong scented Old Spice Fresh Lime would just cover it up. And as most of uh, the perfumers out there, experienced perfumers in uh, our community will tell you, uh, most of the scent of the soap just goes down the sink anyway, so. All right, second pass. Down, across the grain. Got several days, well, I don't know about several days, like three days growth on my beard. And this vintage Gillette seems to be doing a good job cutting through it. No irritation so far. Um, although, the after feeling my face after the first pass, I was a little surprised as how much stubble was left considering I was using a feather blade, but that just is a testament to the mildness of the vintage Gillettes. A 
just want to say one thing too. There's been a lot of controversy and I think Ray Pope summed it up pretty well. Let's quit whining like a bunch of little girls. I don't care if Douglas Smythe uses a pseudonym or not. The dude makes great products, sells them at a fair price. You know, I don't refuse to buy Aunt Jemima maple syrup just because Aunt Jemima doesn't really exist. However, though, Aunt Jemima never tried to convince, convince me that she was real. So there's something you said for that, too. Although... There are folks in our groups, and we all know who some of them are, who can, let's say, uh, nicely be called douchebags. We've all had run-ins with them. So, if any of the purveyors proved themselves to be tea bags, I would quit buying their stuff. All right, I got a pretty considerable, considerable amount of stubble left here, so um, that was the third pass across the grain. Uh, let's go one more pass here against the grain, and then as usual, I'll throw in some cleanup strokes with the J-hooks and the Gillette slide. Hey, I'm using the Gillette razor and the Gillette slide technique. Just thank God I'm not using the Gillette shaving cream. Ugh. Still a little stubble. I know it's modeled after vintage Gillette's, but this reminds me of the Wishy or the Micro Touch One. I had a gentleman on the groups ask me if I ever used both hands when I'm not doing videos and I had to think about it. Yeah, actually I do. Um, I'm mildly ambidextrous. All right, I just squeezed the last bit out, smear it on my face. That slow, that soap is really slick kind of how I judge it. How does it feel in my hands when I rub it together? Uh, I don't know if that's a good barometer, but that's what I use. That's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. I gotta cut it short here because the video's running a little long. So it's Captain Marvel saying, happy shaving.